to cover in such a short span of time. Okay, we've looked at <coughs> whole purpose of storytelling. It starts from you, from within you, knowing yourself, knowing where your values are, knowing who you are, knowing your personal stories. It is then from there, knowing that what you say, being positive, having a positive attitude, will then take you closer to the audience in them wanting to listen to you and believing in you, okay, and in, in the stories that you tell. <coughs> and then we went on to see that actually life is a story, right? We've got many stories, our personal stories, events that happen in our lives. You can actually sit down if you have the luxury of writing down from the time you were a young child till today, I am sure you have many, many, many stories to tell. Okay? You can do that. You can start penning down your own personal stories. <coughs> then we went on to see that, and we had a break, right? And we came back, and then we went on to see that um, basically there are many techniques in telling stories. Okay, how you choose a story, um, <coughs> whether or not it is a story. Uh, we had to remember the elements. Can you remember? It has to be with surprise. It has to be with uh, curiosity and suspense. suspense. Okay. So if these elements are in your story, if they're not, put it in. Put it in. We knew. We know that there were a lot of all these uh, techniques where we had to do uh, the language we use has to be appropriate for the age group. Uh, it's repetitive. Again, okay. Involve the audience if you can. Uh, facial expression, body expression, using the right voice. Okay, you can go home and practice. Discover your voice. Discover how you would speak. Like if I am, oh, I am the good Samaritan. Okay, and then maybe even if for a guy, right? You go, oh, help me. Oh, please, I'm, I'm weak and I'm, I'm dying. <laughs> oh, all right, I'll save you or whatever it is. Okay, go discover your voice. Okay, how you can use your voice to bring more life to your story. Okay, then we learned that um, uh, the, in the different techniques, there are many ways of telling a story. You can use props and costumes, okay, things that can draw the attention of your audience. Okay. And then, of course, you know, at the end of the day, it's um, <coughs> the, um, the way you present it, okay. Your voice has to be loud and clear. Um, body movements, practice, remember, practice. Okay, body movements must be um, expressive, okay, if you, I share with you, right, if it is not so expressive, you will lose your audience. Did I cover everything so far? Mm -hmm. It's very short, it's so much to do. Yeah, and so much to, um, yeah, I would love if I had more time to let you practice, because you need to release your inhibitions. You find that just by doing a little bit of the activities, you let go a little bit, yeah? Okay, we need to let go lots. Okay, not just little. <laughs> okay, for the for the kids to want to listen to you. Do you have any questions at all? <coughs>